Hello, here we are with another session on how to for Flexi CRM. In one of our videos, we explained how you can create a case from an email. Now, in this video, we are going to explain the automatic case creation from an email. Now, before we do that, first go to settings, and then click configuration. Go to case settings. Here is the case email account. Now, we this case email account will be used to send to send case replies through email. Now, the email associated with Flexi support this account is this one associated with Flexi support. Now, first thing we are going to do is go to workflows and then click manage workflows. We are going to create new workflow, go to new, then select case because we are going to create the workflow on case and click select. Now we are going to give this workflow a name. I'm going to call it new case email from Flexi support. Then click launch workflow builder. Choose listener and then click add. Next thing think I'm going to do is go to watch for events, click email to new case. I'm going to give a name new case email from Flexi support. Next, choose the email account. We are going to choose Flexi support. The email folder. In our case, we are going to choose inbox and check reading any. Then click add. Don't forget it to connect it with the listener. Next, click close builder and then click save and close. The workflow has just been created. New case email from Flexi support and click here to make it public. Now, in order to explain automatic case creation from an email, we are going to consider a concrete example. Now, to do that, first go to leads and then click manage leads. Now, David is one of your leads and let's suppose he's having trouble importing contacts. Now, for the sake of the argument, let's suppose I'm David and I want to send a message to Flexi support to get help. Now, the email address I'm going to send this email to is this one which is associated with Flexi support with this account name. I'm just going to copy and paste it right here. Now let's write the subject which is having trouble importing contacts and let's write a short description I'm having trouble importing contacts What I need, what 
let's make it what should I do? And then click send. And we are going to wait a bit till the message is received to the mailbox in Flexi Sierra. Now, here you can see the email we've sent from this account. David, the lead, sent from this Gmail account. And if you go to cases, manage cases, here is the case that have, has been created automatically as we've built, as we've described in the workflow earlier in the video. Now, click the case that has been created automatically according to the workflow we've built. And now you want to send an email to David. Now let's say hi David. Please make sure to map the fields correctly and here you can see send a spending a sold or as opened now since we're trying to solve this problem let's say we want to send it as spending because the problem hasn't been solved yet Now, this is the email we've just sent. Now, if you click the message, here you can also see this number. This is an identifier and this serves to have all email correspondence which will belong to a single case. Now to see that go to manage cases and here you can see this number which is the identifier. This one is the same as this one and this serves to make it clear to know that all to make it sure to ensure that all email correspondence belong to this case. Now, to, let's suppose David wants to send a reply because he's already solved the problem, he has mapped the fields correctly, but before we send the reply from this account, this email address we are going to create another workflow click new choose case now we are going to give it a name I'm going to call it reply case email from flexi support Next click Launch Workflow Builder, choose Listener, and then go to Watch for Events and this time choose Email to Reply Case. Select Flexi Support, Inbox and check Reading Any and then click Add. Make sure to connect it with the listener. Then click Close Builder and 
save and close. Going to manage workflows and click here to make it public. We've just created another workflow. Now let's go back to the Gmail account. Now let's suppose David has read the email. Please make sure to map the fields correctly. It does that and he solves the problem. He can now import contacts easily. Now he writes reply and he says problem solved. Thanks for helping me out and click send. Now the message has been sent and if we go to mailbox we will receive the message but we ha have to wait a bit before we receive the reply from David that he has solved the problem that he can now import contacts. Now we've received the message and if you click here you can see the reply, you can read the reply problem solved, thanks for helping me out. And you can see the R E which is short for reply. And you know it's a reply. And this is possible, this is made possible by the workflow we built, the second workflow. And this number here is the same as this number, this identifier. They are one and the same. Now go once again to click case and say you want to send a reply. You read the message. David can now easily import contacts and you want to send a reply. Now let's say you we write glad to be of help all the best flexi support team and in this case since David has solved the problem you have solved you have already solved this problem choose send as solved now go right here click and David can see the message we've just the reply we've just sent from here. Simple as that. Okay, this was just one of tens and hundreds of examples of automatic case creation from an email. Okay, folks, this was all for this session. I hope you have a great rest of the day. See you on other Flexi CRM how to sessions.